Shape-shifting is a lost art. It's the ability to physically transform oneself through intuition, divine guidance, ritual spells, all by learning about your energy. Many believe there is a neurological basis for it in the brain. I kind of see that as the purpose of like the hypothalamus, the pineal gland, occipital, pituitary, but we've forgotten how to activate this energy and use this to shape shift. And part of this art is relearning the ability to tune into the way in which you can work with your energy, call in, align. Carl Jung even postulated that there is a collective unconscious shared by all where there is this energy of the archetypes, images that come in that also refers to shape-shifting. I've met and heard many conversations with the elders sitting in the Native American communities that I've sat in. And many will attest that it's not just made up that we can change our form, change our path by this concept and this lost art of shape-shifting. It's common in Western thinking to believe that the reality is only what we can see, but there's so much more. And when we start learning to use our intuition and tuning into our senses and being in touch with Mother Earth, we can start to create the reality we want to live in. Shape-shifting is about traveling to these realms of intentions and possibilities through vision quests, storytelling, dreams, and even astral travel. And once you allow yourself to step into a wider possibility, a wider perspective, the universe becomes richer and fuller. We are all shape-shifters, constantly shifting between archetypes, depending on what's going on, based on our circumstances, based on the seasons of life. It is a lost art, but it is something that you too can learn to do with all your tools, all your sensitivities, all your abilities to create that path. <music>